I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at the Brooklyn Historical Society in Brooklyn Heights for another tourist in your own town excursion. Brooklyn has a fascinating 400 year history. It's reached mythic proportions today as the borough to be in. The Brooklyn Historical Society has records and collections of all things Brooklyn. It's also a vibrant center for events focusing on Brooklyn people and issues today. The Society was formed in 1863 to commemorate the area's disappearing rural past. It built this glorious Queen Anne home on Pierpont Street in 1881, designed by George B. Post. At the time, the area was becoming the cultural center of Brooklyn. The building is prized for its bright terracotta facade, intricate brickwork, and myriad decorative details. These include busts designed by Olin Levi Warner, a Viking, and Native American flank the entrance. It's a National Historic Landmark and within the Brooklyn Heights Historic District. The Othmer Library, with elaborately carved black ash woodwork and stained glass windows, is a lovely interior landmark. The comprehensive collections include manuscripts, family papers, business records, newspapers, and oral histories. The library attracts thousands of scholars and the merely inquisitive yearly. Lovely details like mint and tile floors and custom-made bronze hardware are featured throughout. That's because George B. Post championed the American aesthetic movement. The Society's permanent collections include early Brooklyn landscapes, maps, and portraits of prominent citizens. There's a long-term exhibit on Brooklyn abolitionists. You've probably heard of Henry Ward Beecher, but the exhibit introduces the African Americans who helped make Brooklyn a center of the anti-slavery movement. Rotating exhibits include a celebration of Olmsted and Vox's magnificent Prospect Park, rare photos of author Truman Capote and Brooklyn street scenes from Capote's time there in the 1950s. Brooklyn women active in education and empowerment. And of course, the Dodgers and the great Jackie Robinson. The Society has a wonderful look at the changing Brooklyn waterfront. It's in a new satellite gallery in Dumbo at the Empire Stores, right on the waterfront. You don't have to live in Brooklyn to enjoy the Brooklyn Historical Society. Do you like New York, architecture, history, culture? Then come to the Brooklyn Historical Society and learn about our remarkable city, this remarkable borough, and this remarkable institution.